All my hearties, dinky do, and a very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's late night pop up just to say hi to every single one of you and also to say a very, very big thank you for uh, such a wonderful program. I thought I'd just pop up. I usually like to post something on Facebook just to say hi, but I thought I'd just pop up tonight and thank you all in person for joining me tonight on Nation Radio 96.3 on the FM and www.nationradio.scot. Absolutely tremendous. So that's what's behind this. So I thought to myself, <coughs> why not just pop up with us? Absolutely fabulous to have you with us. And dinky do, I say from me, Scotty McClue. Wonderful stuff. So that's what's happening. That's what's um, behind tonight's pop up. Uh, hi, Scotty, says Lorraine Quinn. Dinky do, Lorraine. Lovely to have you with us. And of course, a very warm welcome. Always very nice to have you with us. And dinky do. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure. We're live on Facebook Live. Just for you. Hey, Scott, says Brian McCarran. Hello, Brian. Dinky do. Hope you're well. Robert Abercrombie's watching. Lovely to have you with us as well, Robert. And dinky do from me, Scotty McClure. So much to talk about tonight. So little time to do it in. What a wonderful program we've had tonight. And I just wanted to say thank you to every single one of you. Robert Abercrombie says, all right, Scotty. Dinky do, my friend. Dinky do, Robert. Hola, Scotty, says Mark Juppert. Lovely to have you with us, Mark, and a very warm welcome as well. William McSporrin's watching Dinky Doo, Willie. I hope you're well and behaving. Fantastic stuff. And uh, do come and join me, folks, and we'll have just a quick session because, as I say, I really just popped up to say thank you for such a wonderful program tonight. Alistair Sanderson, good evening, Scotty. Uh, your show always cheers me up. Scotty McClure says, Carol Carlos Donnelly, Kieran Flanagan, what's Kieran? Saying to hello, old pal, says Willie. Willie looks born there. Hey, Scotty, back at it again. Absolutely, Kieran. Yes, yeah, might as well pop up. Morning, McClue from Lanzarote, says Neil Mills Jr. A lot of you on holiday there in Lanzarote. Peter Ewing says hello. Hello, Peter. Lovely to have you with us. Tell 10 to tell 10. Get sharing, folks, and let folks know that we're live and we'll just have a wee session. I've got it here. I can share on here, which is rather good. Scott Biddy, Dinky Do, Gary Crossan, Dinky Do, Elaine G says, Hi, Scotty. Hello, Elaine. Love to have you with us. Scott Biddy says, Morning, Scotty. Dinky Do, Mark Jippert. We love the pop ups, Scotty. Well, I think, yes, it's important. Andy Sterling says, Missed the show tonight, Scotty. Sorry, mate. Hope it was a good one. Andy, it was outstanding tonight, live on Nation Radio 96.3 in the FM. Absolutely cracking. I can't believe. Uh, this week takes us into year 28. We enter our 28th year of Scotty McClue's Nightline on the radio. Uh, oi, oi, Scotty, says Karim Sakaraya. Sakaraya. Uh, there we are. Love how you give us all a mention, says Lorraine Quinn. Well, of course, Lorraine, if you're good enough to pop up a wee message, then the least I can do is give you a mention. Angela McDonough says, hi, Scotty. Hi, Angela. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Fantastic stuff. Alistair King's watching. Come on and join us, Alistair. What I'm going to do, folks, I'm just going to share this so that uh, everybody knows that we're on. I'll share it to the page, and that will let everybody know what's happening. And you can come and join me. So we'll just let everybody know that Scotty McClue is live and dinky do. There we go. Excellent stuff. Put it on there, and we should see the figures go up. That's what we want live now. There we are, live now. Excellent. And I'm just going to post that, guys, and that should go off. Uh, we love you, Scotty, says Elaine G. Thank you, darling. Mwah, mwah, I say from Scotty McClure and Dinky Doo to every single one of you. So there we are. That's let everybody know what's going on there. Fantastic stuff. Um, Scotty, I'm 49 today. All the best folk were born in June, you know. Yes, love it. 29 years a postman, says Peter Ewing. Fantastic. 
fantastic. Alistair King says, Dinky Doo, Scotty, a late one tonight. Absolutely. Well, we're just off Nation Radio. Just got Nation Radio app, Scotty. Fantastic station, says Kevin Roberts. It is a brilliant, brilliant station. And the future of radio in Scotland. Love the McClue, says Neil Mills Jr. How's things in Lanzarote? Do tell us, Neil. We are all interested. I'm just going to do a little bit more sharing. Uh, get to sleep, Scotty, says Edward. Dinky do, Edward. You get to sleep. There we are. Long past your bedtime. Fantastic. And I hope you enjoyed the show tonight, everybody on Nation Radio. So I thought I'll pop up in person and say thank you. I usually post a wee post just to say thank you for uh, all your contribution, for listening, for calling in, for joining in, for spreading the word. Gordon Roddick's watching, one of our finest broadcasters. Dinky do, Gordon. Excellent stuff. This is not late for those of us that uh, have worked in television. So there you are. Anita Page is watching. Anita, darling. Mwah! From the United States, post where you're watching. Very good show tonight, says Edward Doherty. Thanks, Edward. Very much appreciated. Excellent stuff. Uh, so there we go. Come on, Anita. Come on and tell us. I'm just um, sharing this, guys. So we'll let you know what's happening. I'm sharing to a page. We can all share and share and share. So if you've got a share option. I'm worried for Scotland under the new PM, Scotty says Gary Crossan. Well, who knows? Scotland might just go its own way, Gary. And that's nothing to do with separatism. As I said tonight, any separatism seems to be coming from HQ down south. So there you are. So they can't point the finger because economically, Scotland has to look after itself um, because we have been asset stripped, I see. And we need to just redress the balance there we are that's what's involved i'm just popping this out folks live now and you'll be able to get this I'm just telling people that we're live right now on facebook live if you can all do the same it will get uh, folk realizing what's going on and we can get the message out to them how you doing scott this is kieran flanagan very well kieran lovely to hear from you and dinky do replying to andy McClue. can i just say your show tonight was fabulous says Gordon Sterling. You're fabulous, Gordon Sterling. Are you still at the wheel of the big red buses? Have you ever handled a crash gearbox? Do you double D clutch? Are you familiar with the gardener diesel? The six foot, the six foot, the six cylinder. It is about six foot as well. Um, fantastic. And uh, I remember seeing one. I had a great privilege of seeing one. And the guy said to his pal, he said, can you just hold that engine up for me till I start it for Scotty so it doesn't come over? <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, Boris will bring us independence, says Gary Crossan. There we are. Well, a bit of wishful thinking going on by a lot of people there, Gary. I can tell you that for nothing. I'm just going to uh, share this again. Uh, so I'm going to share to a group this time and uh, we'll see what's happening uh, wonderful stuff a very very good morning to all of you if you've just joined us how is the time it must be about 20 past midnight i've just finished on nation radio who's actually running great britain says charles a diver well that's a thought charles fortunately we do have a permanent government which is uh, the civil service how long does it take for you to wind down on a Saturday night? Great show, says Phil Syme. <coughs> well, we've never really been wound up, Phil, if you get it. So there we are. It's really rather good, rather casual. There's Edward trying to find out. Celtic or Rangers, Scotty, if you had to pick whichever one wins, I say, Edward. I'm a floating voter on that. Scotty, what's your thoughts on the olden days? Uh, when women were tied to the bed in the kitchen sink and man left the cave to earn money. <laughs> I don't think he left the cave to earn money. I think he went a-hunting. So there we are. Uh, I'll put this up to the Scotty McClue group as well. So there we are. That's coming up. Scotty McClue fan group. Are all of you a member of the Scotty McClue fan group? Because you should be. Can you play Abide With Me? Um, so this is just coming up, folks. I'm going to have a look at that for you and see what we can do for you. Uh, there we go, live now. 
So I'm just letting everybody know that we're live now. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Anita, Anita Page in America, can you put where you're watching from? Um, Gordon Sterling says, can you play Abide With Me on the box? Agnes loves it. It gets her juices flowing. There, well, we, we don't want to not do that, Gordon. So there you go. Right, there's the box. Now, can I play Abide With Me? Well, this is where you've got to be. You've got to box a bit clever, you see. Not for the faint-hearted. So I'll have to do a bit of thinking and think, can I actually play Abide With Me? Okay, so there's your box so you know that it's not a recording. <laughs> and I shall see what I can do here for you. <laughs> Abide With Me. <laughs> And that's without any practice. That one came off the top of the head. And if you heard it, you'd know it sounded like it did as well. Thank you, too. Fantastic. Lovely to have you all with us. And uh, who else have we got? I'm watching from Greenock, says John Feherty. Lovely stuff. Abide with me. Well done, Scotty, says Lorraine Quinn. Outstanding playing. Well done, says our Kareem Zakaria. Lovely. Have I said that right, Kareem? Have I got the right pronunciation? Excellent stuff. Scotty McLeary saying dinky do quick pop up on Facebook Live just for you. Well done. That's good, says John Ryan Fairhearty. Thank you, John Ryan. Very much appreciated. Scotty in Glasgow on Sunday from next week, there won't be free parking. Shop owners are very concerned as the high street is already suffering. What's your thoughts, says Martin Monaghan. Martin, we discussed this on Scotty McClure's Nightline on Nation Radio. Tonight we had a massive discussion about it. So that's what was happening there. I've just noticed if I sit forward or back, the lighting changes here. Very, very interesting. I'm just wondering, what does that do? Does that make it too dark, folks? Just let it readjust and see what happens. Is that too dark? Well, is that okay for you? Let us know what you think. Um, El Salvador Stallione, Saviour, Scotty, fantastic. Watching from my garage, I'm still working, putting an engine in my van. Are you doing an engine change, Alistair? Is it a short block or a full change? Do tell us. Uh, Scotty, yes, you've got it right. Thank you. Believe me, many people don't. Ah, Karim Zakaria. What a lovely, lovely name. That woman's football cup's fantastic. How about the goalies catch the ball? So there we are, wearing marigolds. <laughs> there we go. Great show, says El Salvador, Stallione Saviour. Lovely to have you on, of course. Oh, Scotty, your playing's amazing. We love you, says Elaine G. Elaine G, what a lovely thing to say. Thank you very much. Very, very kind of you. There's Gemma and Marie McCray. Um, <clears throat> a big shout out for my parents. They're in Bulgaria. So John Dinky do. Uh, full change, two liter CDTI, says so Alistair King. Full change. So everything out, all the mountings out. And then you'll have to make sure are you using the same pump? Um, so there you are. Are you using any of the bits? Are you using the head? 
Are you using anything at all, or is it just, as you say, a complete clear out and a replacement? So do tell Alistair, spill the beans, and you're doing it yourself. Have you got her up on the axle stands and on the everything nice and safe? Um, I wanted to do some comedy, and I'm so tired, I can't be bothered with all that stand-up. So I else have it, I don't know. Well, I mean, I was a stand-up comedian, as you know, until I was asked to sit down. And uh, I gave up comedy because people were just laughing at me all the time. Um, it's Pablo. Uh, it's Pablo. We know Pablo. Yes, yes. See, si, see. Si. We understand. Hacienda me, as we say. <laughs> Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. I'm just going to do a little bit of sharing. And as I say, if you can all do the same, that would be fantastic. We'll uh, we'll share in a few more groups and see what is what. Keep your messages coming. It's Scotty, great to see you after 25 years and love chatting on the phone, says Martin. Dinky do, Martin. Lovely to have you back with us in our lives. This is the lovely, lovely thing about the Nation Radio Scotty McClure's Nightline. We're uh, able to get everybody back together again. Uh, Facebook. You obviously get the odd doubting Thomas. Uh, you know, I've had them. Um having a go or what have you. But these are the same people that said, oh, it would never last. Uh, Kieran Hoggy, how's it going, Scotty? I can't wait to go camping. I'll tell you how it goes. Fantastic, Kieran. Do that. Tam McElvaney, Steph McElvaney. Wonderful stuff. What have we got here? Scotty, what kind of dog does magic, says Gary? A labracabra cabrador. <laughs> How is your lab? It's fine. It's wonderful. Excellent stuff. Uh, it's an all out. Yes, full change, new timing chain, belts, turbo seals, clutch. We'll be running tomorrow afternoon. I bet these timing chains were, dear. Is it belts? When you say timing chain belts, I take it you mean timing belts. So it's the rubber, the toothed belt on that, is it? Is that what we're talking about here? A tooth belt. I bet they weren't cheap. Uh, Cliff Cadvala. Cadvaladar. Dinky do, Cliffy. Lovely to have you with us. I'm just going to send this out round Facebook Live. Fantastic. Uh, let everybody know that we're out there and we are streaming. Lovely. There it goes. That will let everybody know what's happening on here. Fantastic. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. It's Scotty McClue with a Saturday night pop-up just for you live on Facebook Live. Because I always like to thank every single one of you who took part in Scotty McClue's Nightline, the listeners, the callers, the Archie Barges. What's your secret for being happy all the time? I watch you a lot. You always smile. Yes, well... I think it's just accepting that life is life and it's the only true wealth and not being out there to say, can I make more and more and more? Uh, you know, you see these poor souls who are gluttonous and greedy for more money and then they can't take it with them when they go. Scotty, did you used to work for a cab firm? I always used to see you getting about in a taxi. <laughs> No, 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 no. Sometimes the guys would take me. The world's most famous presenter by far. Uh, oh, absolute fortune, Scotty. 400 quid in new parts. Not even added the oil and the filters to it yet. What did your engine rush, Alistair? Is it an exchange engine or is it brand spanking new? Um, so there we go. You'd be, listen, You'd be, I would reckon you'll be into a hundred or two for these belts, to be quite honest with you. Louise Megan's watching Dinky Doo. Louise Megan's laughing. Dinky Doo Louise. Woo! From Scotty McClue on the old pop up here just for you. <clears throat> Here's Anita. Dinky Doo Scotty, I'm watching from sunny California on the west coast of the United States. So thrilled. My schedule actually allowed us to be in sync. Wonderful, Anita. Fantastic. It's good to be happy and be thankful and grateful for what we have, says Georgina Hughes. Georgina, you're 100% correct. Scott, I've been talking to my pal all night, not spoke to her in years. Her name is Linda H. Lorraine Quinn, that is fantastic. Enjoy speaking to Linda H. It's what it's all about. Remember, if you can't have what you like, Try to like what you have. That's what it's about there. I was only asking as I struggle to stay happy as I have depression. John Ryan Fahadi, absolutely, I do understand. But if you can get to the very root 
of what brings you down. You look like in your study, all smart and classy. High five, love it, says Louise. Dicky do, Louise. Um, I bought a whole van for the engine. It was much cheaper than buying an engine its own. Alistair, I understand. My old friend who was a ferry master once bought a whole ferry just for the engines so he could exchange them. Tremendous stuff. So the ferry was lying in the beach and two lovely big Glen Ithers came out of it and were put into the boat re replacements because Glen Ithar engines were quite difficult to come by at that time. Um, so sometimes you're better. So when you say you bought the whole van, um, you know, obviously it's a second-hand van with a good engine. And uh, you look like royalty, Scottish royalty, says Louise Megan. Oh, thank you, Megan. I have been told that I might have an old Scottish royal connection. So there we are. Um, do you want to tag Greg Campbell in, in the video that says, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you know, that's a, what a lovely question. Thanks, says John Ryan. Not at all, John. Lovely to hear from you. I think you can get to the root the what's causing it? It can, of course, be chemical as well. It could be something you're eating. Uh, it could be anxiety. It could be a whole number of things. You may have to, um, you know, have some tablets just to control the balance, whatever. But as I say, mental illness is not a weakness. It's a sign of strain, staying strong for far too long. So there we are. But uh, we send you strength. We send you love. And I hope everything works out for you. Keep working at it. Strong and well. That's the way McClue likes his viewers and his listeners. Very, very important. Um, uh, if you can all have a share now, just let everybody know what's happening. I'll do some more sharing here. And uh, I'll just type a message to Anita. That's tremendous. I'll just send a dinky-doo. Dinky-doo. There we are. Wonderful, and uh, that's that. Oh, I've left the caps lock on, so it looks a bit strange. Looks like another language. Dinky do. There we are. Dinky do. Wonderful, and we'll send that off to Anita in California. <coughs> California girls, I know exactly where you're coming from. As depression, something I've battled for years. It's not easy says Martin. There's Lana. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Mark Kelsey's watching. Come and join us, Mark. And Dinky do. I phoned the pizza shop. He said, pizza shop, Mark speaking. How can I help? I said, have a guess, Mark. Mind over metals, says Louise Megan. Well, it is actually. Um, but uh, there's more to it, of course. So many different things there. There's Diane watching. Accident damaged, unrepairable, £300 from the breakers, auction bargain, second-hand engine is grand. There's method in the Magnus, got loads of spares now. Very well done, Alistair. Good idea. So there we are. There's Edward. Thoughts on the Weimar Republic, Scotty. A very interesting part of German history there, Edward. So the Weimar Republic, as we know, was not the worst. And uh, when you had uh, the old army from that, so there you are. Pity that they didn't keep the Weimar Republic rather than go on to what they went on to. I'm just going to do a bit more sharing. And as I say, if you can all do the same, that is fantastic. Uh, so there we are. There's Anita sending a... A lovely thing. We'll give it a thumbs up for that. Fantastic. And that's that. Good. Wonderful, Anita. There you are. Excellent stuff out in California. Let me know where you're watching. There's Giuseppe Boschetti. So there we are. Lovely to have you with us, Giuseppe. And a very warm welcome to our late night uh, Saturday night pop-up. Very late night. It's actually Sunday morning. So would you say this is a Saturday night pop-up or a Sunday morning pop-up. Next life, I'm going to marry you, says Louise. Thank you, Louise. <laughs> Take you do. Well, you know, we do have lots of lives, so do be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Excellent. Now, uh, I'm just going to do a bit of sharing. Share to a page. Uh, share in a group. We'll share in a group and send one out, and uh, we'll keep sharing until something uh, just... Uh, we strike oil, as they say. There we are. I'll just put another one out to that one. See what pops up here. 
uh, live streaming. Excellent. And we'll just put live. No. There we are. Live. Right, I'll just put live and put that and send that out. Wonderful. So there you are. A bit more of their fantastic stuff. Uh, never too late for Giuseppe. Giuseppe, you just work all the hours God sends, don't you? Saturday night, says Louise. Absolutely, Louise. It's the wee small hours. Pop up and keep us all on our toes, says Alistair King. Do the neighbours, have you not got neighbours around that can hear you doing your Spatner Man stuff? Bang, bang, bang. Again! <coughs> all that stuff. <coughs> Fantastic. Now, just doing a bit of sharing here. If you want to do the same, folks, that's wonderful. I'll uh, share this one up once more as well. And then it'll probably end up on YouTube. Graham says, Scotty, are you having a wee holiday this summer? Ah, well, um, it's it's what you call a bossman's holiday. I do a bit of work. Um, it's him in the pick, says Louise. It is, yes, that's me, Louise. In the pick, you're absolutely right. In the pink, as well as the pick. I think I'll just share this one. That's it. Sharing, sharing now with the public. There we are. Excellent stuff. Wonderful. Right, so that's got all his bro. That's right, it's my bro. My bro is there. Tremendous Louise. That's what we like. So there we go. Just done a bit of sharing. Can you all do the same right now? Just share, 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 share. Let everybody know that Scotty McClue has popped up just for you to say dinky do on a Saturday night and to thank you for a wonderful, wonderful show tonight on Nation Radio Scotland. 96.3 in the FM. Remember, we're on tomorrow night, Sunday night. So Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Nation Radio Scotland, 96.3 in the FM across Central Scotland, Glasgow and the West. And then also you can go online at www.nationradio.scot. Meant to say, what year is it from? The Weimar Republic. That was in the 1930s, am I right? Uh, no law, no neighbours, says Alistair. Good. So you're out there with the old boiler suit on. Bang, 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 bang. Tighten, tighten, tighten. The odd spanner ringing as it falls down into the engine bay and you saying a wee word of prayer. Fantastic. I get the magnet down there. Rab Hill's watching. Dink you do, Rab. All the very best to you, of course. And uh, we're letting folk know on here. I'm just seeing how many people I can get on here. Wonderful. There's Anita telling me something. I missed that, Anita. What was that you were seeing, my dear? That will come back up. Here she's here. Right. Uh, so I'm just going to share in a minute. You need to be on TV. That's not a face for radio, says Louise. Thank you, Louise. Well, of course, I started in television. Well, what year's the picture from? I thought you meant the Weimar Republic. Uh, the picture will be from that particular one is 1992. And we had a previous graduation in 1980. There you are. Hi, Mahamar, uh, says Alistair. Fantastic. Lol, make way for the king, I say. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But you stand up. There's no bowing down. We are all equals. So there you go. But yes, I do think I have a royal connection. A few choice words I won't repeat live, says Alistair King. Of course you do when the Queen goes on a short informal walkabout. It's a bit like that. So there you are. Especially when you get the back of the hand with the nut above when you're tightening it too much. And the spanner just jumps off. My father used to say, no, no, just feel it and then just nip it up. Not too much. You'll break it. Um, how you doing, big chap, says Rab Hill. Dink you do. What have you been up to recently, Scotland, says Giuseppe Machetti. And, of course, we're live on the radio. So very, very busy at the weekends, 10 o'clock sharp through until midnight. Never miss a second of Scotty McClue or you miss a moment of life. So they are. We love you, says Louise. Thank you, Louise. OMG, for me, it's tea time. 4.38. <coughs> so... That must mean it's 12.38 in um, in new money, or old money even. Scotty, this is David's partner, John Boy. Thanks for your kind words of advice. A difficult time. David, not at all. And John, not at all. 
Delighted, boys. No problem there. Hello there, Scotty, says Chloe Williams. Hello, Chloe. And dinky-doo, I say now. Uh, there we are. Prescription for depression. Prayers from the Bible and praise, says Anita, who's in California, watching right now. Ian Kerr's watching. Dinky do Ian. Lovely to have you. This is Lorraine Quinn says, I've got my granddad's bonnet. It looks like yours, but he's much older. I'm 63, Scotty. So try and work that one out, says Lorraine. Wow. 63. That's some age. I'm uh, uh, of an indefinite age. Uh, and... <laughs> so there we are. Chap knuckles, skint knees, and reeking of diesel. That sums my life up. Not at all, Alistair. When I used to work with what we called the heavy oil engines, the Gardners and the Kelvins and the Gleniffers, that's going back a bit. You're looking lovely as usual. Thanks, Rab. How's the dog, says uh, Giuseppe Bachetti. And these diesels, of course, they took a bit of starting. The um, Gleniffers were amazing. They went off compressed air. And we used to have a lot of diesel on our hands, and I realized just how um, absorbent your skin is. So that's why you see people with the rubber gloves. Johnny, Johnny Garvey, Dinky Doola, good morning, Scotty. Hope you're well, very well. Always better hearing you, John. You're a great man. Uh, now, what are you doing up at this time, says Rab? I just came on to say thank you. There's Derpa Burnt. How are you, Scotty? Dinky do Derpa. I'm just going to do some more sharing. So, 4.38, 4.40 in um, it's tea time. People are having afternoon tea in the United States and watching Scotty McClue. How good is that? I'm going to share in a group here. Fantastic. I will push off in a few minutes' time, but thank you for joining me tonight. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. I'll just do a bit more sharing. Why not, for goodness sake? We should be able to share. There's We Are Live Worldwide. We'll share that one and see what happens. And I'll just put that I'm live there. Worldwide as well. International program this, you know. Ah, not for the faint-hearted. Night-night, says Louise. Night-night, my dear. Uh, Giuseppe, ten times to it. Ten, 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 ten. Wonderful. There we are. And uh, that's that. So we should be having even some more people joining us because I've just shared. And if you can all share, that's fantastic. Uh, ten times to it. So um, what we've got, Anita's sitting having afternoon tea and it's about a quarter to five in the evening. So I would say we're a quarter to one right now. <clears throat> Something like that. In fact, I've got it here. Oh, yes. It says at midnight plus 42. So we're on British summertime here, guys. And what is it you do, says Charles Michael Hall? I broadcast, Charles. I'm the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. So uh, I, I broadcast internationally worldwide. And Friday, Saturday, Sundays, I broadcast to central Scotland, part of my old stamping ground. But really, the whole of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is Scotty McClue's stamping ground. Uh, Scotty, we mentioned my cousin Anne Anderson, who's a new listener. David, welcome to Cousin Anne. Welcome, welcome, Cousin Anne. Get the bonnet back on to front and look cool, says Rab. Rab, you know it looks a wee bit ridiculous if we put the bonnet on back to front. So they are. I sometimes do that when I'm at the bakery doing McClue's pies and we're doing the vegetarian lattice slice in a rich chicken sauce. Excellent. So there we are. But I'll put, I'll put it back on that way. I told you we've got some different headgear. We tried some others. I don't know where I've put it, but I was going to show you that one as well. So there we go. Okay, this so is Charles Michael Hall. <coughs> Absolutely, Charles. And we lecture and I train people to speak properly. What have you? Uh, can I get a shout out from my mate Nick? Says Derpa. Of course you can. Uh, Derpa Dinky Do, I say. Right, it's time Scotty McClue wasn't here. So I'm going to push off, and uh, I say to every single one of you, have a fabulous, fabulous evening, and a great Saturday night, have a lovely weekend, uh, look out for the pop-ups of Scotty McClue, set your notifications, go on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, 
Get yourselves on there. If you're feeling flush and you've uh, had amusement with Scotty McClure and you want to make a, a small donation, go on to Scotty McClure's website, www.scotty-mcclure.com, and you'll see uh, PayPal and GoFundMe. You want to stick a fiver in there? Fantastic. Good night, Scotty. Rab says, brilliant. Okay, bye, Scotty. Love you, says Chloe. Uh, Charles Lowell. Now, that's rich. This seems like a good show. Charles, a fantastic show. You get yourselves on there. You'll never, ever, ever miss a moment of Scotty McClure again because you miss a moment of life. And tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, dinky-doo is the catchphrase. Uh, you got merch. Derpa, I haven't got merch at the moment, but we are looking at all that. Uh, take, Scott, take care, Scotty. Dinky-doo is a wrap. Dinky do to every single one of you. Fantastic. Charles Michael Hall. Ah, Fiverr. I love it. Yes, well, it helps me with advertising. I can't do it all myself. I've put hundreds of thousands of pounds into local radio over the years. And, um, you know, stuff's getting a bit thin in the ground. So I can't do it all myself. So if you've got a spare fiver, it all helps. Nine, nine, thanks for listening to me going on about mental health. John. Never, ever a problem. You are not going on. We are here as a nation to help to strengthen you. That's what it's about. Got you. Love it, says Charles Michael Hall. Dinky do. Night, Scotty, says Martin. Night, Martin. Uh, you're still going to be on on Monday, Scotty. I'm sure you'll know what I'm talking about. Yes, absolutely, Edward. On for the next five days. Uh, do you follow my mate Slickback Sam on Instagram, says Chloe. Uh, I may well do, Chloe. Yes, absolute. How about I share? Charles, share as much as you can, as often as you can. That goes for every single one of you. Please share Scotty McClure and uh, get it round Facebook just for you, Dinky Do. Right. I'll sing you the goodbye song. We'll finish up with a song. Are you ready? After two. Two. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vitar zen, au revoir, and a cheerio. Cheerio, my lads. Take care of yourselves. And dinky-doo.